Good afternoon, folks. How you doing? How's everyone doing? Happy Monday. Thanks for joining me on today's episode of Get It Out of Here. I'm your host, Lauren Rehovchek. I am a comedian, a designer, a carpenter, and I worked in film and TV for like 10 years uh, doing sets and props. So I hope you'll join me today. Thanks for coming. These windows look like they're gonna be bridesmaids in an 80s wedding. And there's your pink hat. You know, they always had like the hat with whatever this is, crinoline, veil stuff, I don't know. This is a very interesting way to put up your picture frames. They're like, not above the bed, Jim, no. Art above the bed does not look good. Put it on this wall. He's like, love the bookshelves let's stack things upward you know why the books are stacked on their side it's because they can't go up because the shelves aren't high enough so this piece of furniture isn't helping anyone get it out of here wow we got the leg lamp we got the union jack sign we have all of our artwork very high up on the walls you have made your whole room your couch if your couch is dark you really ought to go lighter on the walls unless you're setting a mood but the mood you're setting here is not turning anyone on this rug is um no my goodness <laughs> look at the whale coffee table how can people live like this? You don't deserve to live like this. This is not, this is crazy. You have three overstuffed armchairs. Okay, you like superhero movies and basketball and video games and not having a rug, you know, but your rug would probably get real gross real fast because I'm sure you eat here. This is, that coffee table is also your kitchen table. I can't believe this is how you think you deserve to live, honestly. I can tell you have anxiety, because look at this place. This is a big reason why you have anxiety as well. I just got deep there for a second. This shelving unit is not giving you any practical space, because if you think about it, the shelf shapes are kind of like a triangle. If you put four of those triangles together, you're gonna get like the amount of space you get on the top of a stool. So these shelves are not helping you, because if you have shelves like this, they have to look very minimal, otherwise, it feels like it's hurting the space and causing more anxiety. Should we redesign this room? This is a studio. I feel like this is a good redesign. Okay, the gods have spoken. This is our redesign. Let's do it. Last week, we redesigned on a budget, which it's great, whatever. But this week, I want to go all out. I want to pretend this person has been saving up for this remodel for so long. And I think I just found the inspiration for it. Oh my gosh, I love this room. I love how modern it is, but also very warm. So how do we get from dingy studio to this dramatic flat? A ton of custom carpentry, that's how. Okay, let's sketch out a general plan. The built-in bed stays here with a couch to the right. Additional storage goes underneath. We're gonna eliminate this wall, run hardwood throughout, and make the bathroom door a pocket door. And add an island. I'm inserting herringbone wood floors because, I mean, look at me, I'm basically an expert on this program now. Our back wall is going a stone color and I'm doing a deep, dark navy for the accent wall. Now again, this door here is a pocket door and let's get the faux finish up for some character. We're building out the kitchenette from our inspiration plus a concealed fridge. And here's our island. How is this coming together so quickly? This is, my daughter hasn't been sleeping. This is a gift. These are stairs up to our raised bed. Again, every inch has storage underneath with pull-out drawers, and dear God, I'm so glad I'm not the one building it. Ooh, I forgot to look for a couch. Let's do it. I want a couch with character so it helps warm up the modern space. I briefly fell in love with this guy, but it doesn't fit physically or emotionally. I do, however, like this one. I'm so pathetic. I'm such a sucker for like the cognac material. It's the perfect amount of distressed character, but still has those clean modern lines. So it's not dumpy like some of the other catches we've seen this episode. Let's pop this gorgeous stud in here and give you some sleek shelving for only aesthetically pleasing things. I always say to my mom when we put shelves up, I go, 
and why do we put up shelves? And she says, to put nothing on them, sir. <laughs> you know, like Batman, you know, whatever. Now this is as far as I took the sketch because again, my daughter took zero naps today. So we on a time crunch, baby. But I did another quick and dirty sketch of what the wall to the right of us would now look like. So pretend you have generational wealth and you're sitting on that couch relaxing. This would be your view. It's more built-ins for closet storage. Who would have guessed? Okay, you got your TV here, front door and bathroom pocket door done. We are done. What do you think? It's a little different from where we started, right? Huh? I like it. All right, let's do a recap. Stop hanging your art too high. You are killing me. Okay, dump the dumpy couches, conceal your electronic wires, I promise you'll sleep better. And finally, if you can secure generational wealth, that would really be best for your redesign. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us on this episode of Get It Out of Here. We're so excited to see you again, guys. Thanks, bye. <laughs>